Welcome to another video of What Would Heather Do? I'm Heather Hukey, one of your naturalists for Story County Conservation and all the month of June I've been challenged by my community, by the public, by friends, by family to do all kinds of crazy things enjoying the outdoors. I got asked, would Heather build a shelter out of natural materials and sleep in it? Absolutely. I've done it before, but you can't do it at a county park. You can build a shelter in a county park, but to sleep in it, I had to come home. So welcome to my backyard. Well, at least part of it. I'm gonna do my best to use whatever I can find around my house to build a shelter, and then I will sleep in it. So I'm gonna gather some materials, and then I'm gonna start building and I'll record some of it. I want you guys to see the finished product, the process of building a shelter, that's all up in here. That's your imagination, whatever you want it to look like. The first thing I'm doing is I found a strong base. That's gonna be my crab apple tree right here. I chose this spot because one, it's level ground so I might actually be able to sleep and two, it's some of the only level ground in my yard that has some grass. Don't judge. Grass is not my forte. I'm hoping that this will inspire you to see that you don't have to pitch a tent in order to enjoy the outdoors. You don't have to uh, go far away to have an exciting outdoor experience. Sleep in your backyard, build a fort, and see what adventures you have. So we're gonna start, I'm gonna get a couple ridge poles going so my sticks don't fall on me. try to make a, a human sleeping bag. That's what I was always taught, is the best survival shelters. So I have my skeleton, all of the long sticks I could find in my yard. You might be wondering why on earth does someone have so many sticks? Um, but these are some of my family's favorite toys to play with outdoors. I had to tear down our teepee, unfortunately, to make this challenge happen. Um, but it's always a good idea to just have a cache of, cache of branches. They could be almost anything as long as your imagination can, can work on it. But it's, it's not good enough yet. So in order to focus on only using natural materials, um, my next ingredient for my shelter is firewood because we have an awful lot of that. So I got my firewood stacked up. I even raided the neighbor's yard for a few more sticks and I found a few weeds that weren't necessary. Um, but in order to get it how I, how I want it to be, I think I'm gonna have to do some yard work. Thank goodness I have not yet done any hedge trimming, any bush trimming. So if I make my front yard look beautiful, maybe, just maybe, I'll be able to have a shelter for tonight. So I'll see you in a minute. It's done! After I trimmed a couple bushes in the front yard, we have plenty of material to uh, block the wind, hopefully keep out some mosquitoes if they're out and about tonight. So I put the door at the top just out of, just because it's easier. Um, I don't have to worry about keeping my body heat in. It's plenty big for a few people. And I hope it's comfy. Is it comfy? Yeah. So this is gonna be really hard to film because I don't really know where to look on the camera. Um, and there's not much space to show you around. Um, I guess I can try. I'm laying in my, ooh, this is ghost stories. I'm laying in my shelter backwards actually right now because I was able to light it a little better. Um, I guess I should say also, maybe I should look over here. Uh, sorry, I'm blinding you guys. That I, I had to check in with the instigator of this challenge to see if it was okay if I used non-natural objects to sleep on. So I have a pillow, um, a really old camp pad because I am laying on the dirt. And uh, 
my kid's sleeping bag because it's small so I thought it would fit um, so I do have some creature comforts to hopefully let me last the night I was concerned that I was gonna have to you know really rough it with nothing except for the grass the luscious grass in my yard um, but I'm I'm ready for the night I got a book I got a charged headlamp and I got a charged phone to record myself. I don't know how much I'm gonna be recording because I don't really know how much you guys wanna watch me read a book. Um, it's kinda windy, which is gonna hopefully keep the bugs off me. Let me give you a tour of my home. So this is, this is my interior if you will there's my doorway um there's those ridge poles i put at the beginning oh i got a hole i'll have to fix that later but otherwise you know pretty good little shelter you can see what kind of bushes i have in my house nice right so yeah pretty cozy I think it's gonna be an awesome night. I'm excited. I made a teepee with my two girls earlier this spring and we slept in it with similar, you know, fancy exterior furniture pillows. And it was a really fun adventure. And I, I just really hope that people realize that just simple fun things like having a backyard adventure is what it's all about. I'm excited I used some sort of evergreen bush because it smells like a Christmas tree in here right now. Um, yeah. Welcome to the night. Welcome to what would Heather do? Would Heather sleep outside on a beautiful 60 degree night? Absolutely. Well, I did fall asleep for a little bit. Um, the wind's picked up, so I think the creaking of my fort shelter woke me up. Yeah, I just thought I'd say, hey, I'm still out here. I'm going to try to go back to sleep. All right, everybody, it's about 45 minutes before I would normally get up. Um, I got up because I thought I heard something at my hummingbird feeder and I know I've had some raccoons uh, stealing the nectar uh, every night that I that I forget to bring it in so I was really hoping I would catch them in the act but since I'm up and since I know that I would normally be getting up pretty soon I think I'm gonna I'm gonna call this video a wrap five challenges in five weeks it's been really fun doing what would Heather do, and I hope you've had fun uh, connecting with us, with Story County, and I, I hope you've had fun watching. I, I had one other what would Heather do that I could not meet the challenge, and that is would Heather be able to edit her own videos? And the answer is absolutely not. I want to thank Erica Place, our outreach coordinator, for helping make all of this craziness possible, and for now, the month of June is, is, was our ending point. I, I want you to keep reaching out to us. I want to keep the engagement that we've, we've started rolling. So keep the ideas coming and, and keep looking for maybe what would Heather do to come back in the fall. Uh, we do have other opportunities to get outside and, and to connect outdoors. So keep watching our, our website, keep watching My County Parks for opportunities. And I just hope very soon we can meet face to face in the parks once again. So thank you for, for the ideas, for the loves, for the likes, and for the laughs. It's been fun. <laughs>